ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cast and Comets Football. Coming to you live from the Comet Crater, where the Cast and Comets are hosting the Culver Cavaliers for the homecoming game. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Hunter Shanelob. Hunter, how you doing this evening? Not too bad, yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Just feel like I have a strange case of deja vu. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really hoping that we had uh, we have those technical glitches that we've been having in the last few broadcasts sorted out. Uh, you just have to deal with the um, wetware issues uh, present in your host. Luckily, I've got Hunter here to uh, keep us on the straight and narrow. Uh, so, Hunter, looking back, Caston uh, is actually 6-0 and against the Cavaliers. Uh, and as a matter of fact, they are predicted a close but a loss yet this evening. What are your thoughts? Coming in off last week's win against North White, a a lesser North White squad of um, but Kasten Kasten executed well in the first half they moved the ball the way they wanted to move the ball uh, their defense made a lot of big stops in times where they needed big stops they just, they just controlled the clock and there really was no no doubt who was in charge in that game uh, Culver coming in tonight is one and three with losses to Judson Triton and coming off a 28 to zero loss to Winnemac last week but they do have a win over uh, a West Central squad, the same West Central squad that we beat uh, week one. Cast coming in now two and four. I I look for it to be a lot of uh, a lot of football in the A and the B gaps tonight. You know, whoever can reset the line in the scrimmage is going to win. Win a lot of the battles up front. You just look for the comments to come out and try to score quick, and if not, to really slow the time possession down, try to keep it away from Culver. Yeah, absolutely. Um, We've said it several times on the broadcast that a big part of it is making sure that the football game goes at the pace you want it to go at. Uh, it's one thing if you want a fast game. Uh, it's another thing entirely if the other team is making you play, hurry up. And um, So that's, that's going to be what it comes down to. Uh, comments riding high on a victory. Cavaliers uh, looking for a little bit of revenge. So nobody nobody likes to go home with a loss. So uh, I do see here that um, the Cavs are pretty pretty well stacked with uh, juniors and seniors. So um, a lot of times that means experience, and so we're gonna have to see how that plays out. Well, we have uh, just 40 seconds here until we start getting things underway. I would invite you folks at home, make sure that you've got your refreshments topped off. Uh, again, it's uh, predicted to be a close game. That means it can go either way, and we're looking forward to some uh, some good football here tonight. Uh, so in the interim, though, we are going to take just a moment and uh, say thank you to our sponsors. So uh, you guys stay tuned. You're watching Comets and Cavaliers football here on RTC. And TV welcome four. back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with coin toss, Culver will kick off, and we'll be getting this football game underway. Blair, more of a personal level. How you how you feeling about tonight? You know, there's been a lot of good energy uh, through the school this week. Um, obviously, every uh, every homecoming week is uh, has a, has a lot of uh, pep days and pep sessions, and uh, I'm really excited. I am happy to say, though, that uh, in the boys volleyball, that uh, the staff team remains undefeated. Uh, <laughs> I had no part in that, though. Um, everybody asked, well, "Why aren't you playing?" I said, "Because they want a good squad out there." <laughs> so. Um, I'll tell you what, though, our senior football players who were who were in that uh, boys volleyball game, I expected them to come out and just be absolute bruisers, and those guys had some finesse. They're we've talked about it before. They're just athletes, and it was really it was really kind of cool to watch that. You know, switch from guys that you just absolutely don't want to get hit by on the football field uh, to be able to actually pass the ball and, and make things work. It was kind of pretty awesome to watch. Absolutely. You know, and I had that I had that backwards. Um, Kasten will kick off. No worries. You only have like an once hour to figure it out. Once again, 
I, I said that we tried to solve the technical glitches, not the uh, commentary glitches. Grant Yaden kick off for the Comets. Oh, a botched onside kick. That is not at all how you'd like to start the football game. Let's yeah. see if the Comets can bounce back, play one on their defensive side of the ball today. <laughs> Sam Smith just kind of flipping that tee away. I don't think he was happy about how that kick went. Big run at the middle by number 40. Shane Schumann, 5'11", junior. Culver, Culver's going to do a lot of, uh, it's not really misdirection. It's getting everything in really tight so you can't see. Um, exactly where the football in, went. In which direction the quarterback, number five, Tucker Fisher, is giving it. A lot of late flips coming out of that. And that dive man dives every single play. Well, and, you know, it was, it was good for five yards there. Uh, so it doesn't take too many of those to move the football into the red zone. Dive back again, down to number 40, Shane Schumann. Uh, that might be enough to move. Yep. Another, another uh, Cavalier first down. Ball now on uh, the 18 yard line. Tries to go off tackle. Wrapped up and brought down by number seven, Grant Hickel, who made a great play on the ball. Brings the ball back to the 20-yard line. I think for the first time since week one, the Comets send out Caden Webb, who's had a couple different injuries and some illnesses. He's playing defensive tackle for the Comets tonight for the first time, I believe since week one. Dive back in the middle. I'll tell you something about Caden Webb. is He's not big to look at, but man, he is quick and looks like he hits like a ton of bricks. He's He has an explosive first step. He's just young and whether he knows how to use it, you know, what to do, they're still working on that, but just a natural, a natural athlete. Off tackle again to number 10, I believe. Miliano Ortiz. Yeah, if Colver if Colver runs between the tackles sixty times tonight, don't be surprised. <laughs> well, hopefully the cast in line can shut him down here and turn him over on downs. Here's your snap. Off tackle again. Back to Ortiz. Wrapped up about the line of scrimmage by 64 Garrison Hickel and 5 Sam Smith. And that's what you're looking to do. Comets got to get out of their own, their own end zone pretty much. Yeah, it's not the most advantageous. I mean, it was really... That was a good gamble by uh, by the Culver O-line because uh, they'd been getting good yardage on that play, and they were really likely to get a set of downs. But As we hear Sam Smith's name for the first time on the offensive side of the ball tonight. Good for about four yards.
Landon Schaefer starting at quarterback tonight for the Comets as well. Brings Grant Hickle in motion. Dive back to Sam Smith, who no. Keeper Landon Schaefer pulled it, got off to the tackle, and got a first down for the Comets. Get a first down every couple of touches. That'll be all right. Absolutely. Dive to Sam Smith, gains about a yard or two before he's met by half the Culver defensive line. Comps have started two guys at quarterback this year and Landon Schaefer and Grant Hickel. I think they've both got a snap or two at quarterback in every single game this year, except the week one West Central one where Landon Schaefer was hurt. Brings a man in motion, pitch outside to Sam Smith, who has the edge wrapped up just past it, though, by number 40. Shane Schumann for the Cavaliers. Brings up third down for the Comets, about third and seven. Culver's got a pretty stout defensive line. The Comets got to really, really get in and engage on their side of the ball. Schaefer dropping back. Looks to throw. Overthrown. Picked, Picked off. off by Ortiz for the Cavaliers. He's going to bring it back to about his own 48-yard line. Not That is not at all where you want to go with the football. Tackle by number 19, Kyle Raudebush. Just really overshot on that throw, and Ortiz more than happy to take it and go with it. Cavaliers back on defense. Dive again to 40. Tripped up by Sam Smith, taken down by number seven, Grant Hickel. Still got about six yards on that carry. Yeah, that's a big thing with a Coach Zinner-led football team is you're going to see consistency year in and year out. They're going to do the same stuff, and they're not, they're not going to they're not going to change it up. They're going to beat you with their stuff. They're going to hone in on five, six good plays and just perfect those down to a science. Stop short of the goal to gain. Good stand by the Comets offensive or defensive line there. A couple more yards on that. Three, two to go. Caden Webb looks like he was knocked clean out of his shoes. Off tackle give to number 30. Blake Thompson there. I believe he got to the goal to gain. Cavaliers break the huddle with a first and ten. Dive again, wrapped up by Garrison Hickle, and he just puts his feet in the ground and falls down with him, more or less. <laughs> Hickle. 
Yeah, Garrison gets a hold of you. You're not going too much further usually. That's it for you. And sometimes it's better just to fall with him instead of getting <laughs> taking a shot from five Sam Smith coming across. Right. Off tackle give. Wrapped up by Grant Hickle. Great read there by Hickle. Yeah, these last three plays, the comments have really done a substantial better job of wrapping up and just going down with the guys. You can't you can't arm tackle. You cannot arm tackle these guys. Like you have to wrap up completely, roll down to the ground. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm you know, looking down the roster here and I'm seeing a lot of 220, 210, 210, 220, and 270. That's, yeah. That, that's 210, 220 running the football. Yeah, you're you're not <laughs> They have they have offensive guards back there playing fullback. Dropping back. Tucker Fisher to throw. Gets out there. Oh. Evan Howard couldn't quite get underneath that. I, I'm not sure who his target was. I'm almost surprised they didn't call that an intentional ground. I believe Fisher was just trying to get that one out of there. I see he had three comments in his face. Comments put the Cavaliers in a fourth down situation once again tonight. Fourth and nine this time. Look for an off tackle or look for Fisher to drop back one more time. 10 seconds on play clock. Off tackle give to 10 Ortiz. Wrapped up and taken out. Short of the goal to gain. That'll be Comet football. About their own 30, 28 yard line. 21, Grant Yaden with that tackle. Like I was saying before the game, Blair, I think 80% of the plays ran so far have been in that A and B gap. It's yep. Control the A gaps. Whoever can get, this is not going to make sense, but whoever can get more plays outside today will win. <laughs> Sam Smith up the middle, wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage and taken down. by a host of Cavaliers who are more than happy to usher him to the ground. <laughs> by just taking a minute saying, are we all still in one piece trying to get up? But there, there again, going back down this line, that was about 1,200 pounds of tackling happening. Landon Schaefer under center again. Brings the man in motion, pitches it outside to Grant Hickle, who has a block or two. Brought down after about seven yards of gain by number 40. It's uh, Shane Schumann. Grant did a really good job of not taking that pitch clear to the sideline, but seeing a seeing a hole and cutting it up and picking up seven, seven, eight yards on it. Comments third and one. Football on the 37-yard line. Bring a man motion, dive to Sam Smith, who has a block or two, and gets well past the first down marker. Good hard running there by Sam. Moves that football clear up to the uh, 47. Gained 10 yards on that. Landon Schaefer breaks the huddle. Sam Smith directly behind him, brings the man in motion. Pitch to Kyle Radabush, who's looking for a gap. Radabush finds an edge. Pushed Ooh. out of bounds, about his own 36-yard line. Good patient running there by Radabush. He had an opportunity to, to cut up, but he saw a gap towards the sideline. Picked up an extra five, six yards because of it. Just under two minutes here in the first. Game still scoreless. Comets looking to uh, looking to put some points on the board before the f end of the first. Brings the man in motion. Dive to Sam Smith. 
who gets loose of one or two tacklers and another one. Make it one more. Can he go? Oh, good run by Sam Smith. I thought he was going to break that last tackle and just go. Gets it well inside the red zone, though. Sam Smith breaks four tackles and takes another guy 14 yards. That just speaks to, that just speaks to the way that kid runs. All right, he got wrapped up in the line of scrimmage. You saw his jersey flex and then pop free. And the, Col <laughs> the Culver Cavaliers were lucky he didn't punch that one in. <laughs> Keeper by Landon Schaefer on the fake to Sam. Picks up maybe a yard or two. Puts the comments at second and seven. Seventy-five seconds in the quarter. Comments looking to capitalize on this head of steam they're building. Twenty-four seconds on the play clock. Hickle under center. Hands off to Sam Smith. Punches it up to. I believe we're going to have a third and one at about the two. 33 seconds in the quarter. Twenty seconds as the comments break the huddle here. Landon Schaefer back in at quarterback. Sam Smith directly behind him. Reverse looks to throw. Has a man, Sam Smith, who walks into the goal line. Touchdown comments. Schaefer to Sam Smith. Very patient play there. Very good play designed. And with just 10.3 seconds left, Comets have uh, cracked the first goose egg of the game. The Comets steal on a page out of Coach Zinner's book. I think the ball was faked three times before it was eventually pitched out into the flat to Sam Smith. I wasn't entirely sure where it was until it went in the air. Two-point conversion, no good. Evan Howard running way out towards the edge. Wrapped up and flipped over. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the first quarter, Comets just placed and finally getting a score up on the board. Looking to kick off to the waiting Cavalier team. Ten seconds left in the first Ethan Keller and Blake Thompson back deep for the Cavs. Kick by Grant Yaden is off the tee this time. Wrapped up and brought down by Grant Hickel. Wow. Clear back at the 20 yard line. That's a big special teams play. That easily could have been brought back at their own 40, 50 yard line. And Grant Hickel to go down there after having a couple big plays on offense. That's a selfless football player there to go down and make play on special teams after playing a whole offensive and defensive possession directly before that. Six point three left here in the first. Tucker Fisher under center. Dive, wrapped up, taken down. Gain of maybe three yards, maybe five. Well, that's the end of the first. After 12 minutes of play, cast and common six, Cleveland Cla Cavaliers zero. We'll be back for second quarter action after this. Yeah, welcome squads. back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to head here in, in the second quarter here at the Common Crater tonight. 
at the end of one. Comet six, Cavaliers zero. Cavs uh, moving the ball about four yards in uh, the final play of the first quarter. Taking over now, second down, ball on the 27-yard line. Off tackle give, I think he just tripped himself up there. Able to move the football a couple more yards. Third and about three. Yeah, I believe with all that happened, I think he just tripped himself. Dive wrapped up by Sam Smith. And that looks like it's enough for the chains to move. That's Cavaliers first down. Tucker Fisher under center, hands off. NCAA got wrapped up and brought down by Garrison Hickel. Just about the line of scrimmage. They're giving him about a yard on that play. Dive back down to number 40. Sean Schumann gets his, seems like, 30th carry of the night. And again, getting about four or five yards every one of those. So comments are going to definitely have to uh, be watching for that play. Big third down here. Pop pass over to number 80, Anderson. Good play design there. Dive again down to Schumann, who's wrapped up by. That may be enough to move the chains. Dylan Gearhart pushed over by number 20, Evan Howard. Big play there. Schumann trying to pull Sam Smith there and just keep going carrying a man. Yeah, Schumann's another load to bring down out there. Not as quick burst as uh, Sam Smith, but still getting about six yards a pop, it seems like. Brought down by number 21, Grant Yaden, after a few, a few yards there. Eight and a half minutes remain in the half. Great read by Sam Smith. Third down with seven to go. Ball on about the 36-yard line. The Comets could force the, the Cavs into about a, a fourth and eight. That's that's the ideal situation. 
for this uh, Chris Ork led defense. Don't let him get any closer. Don't give him a manageable fourth down. Make him have to throw to try to convert on fourth. Give you a pick six opportunity. Throw into the flat. Breaking a couple of tackles. Big gain there. The opposite of that. <laughs> yeah, that play you guys just saw, that's not what the Comets defense wanted to do. Ball now deep into the red zone. No, but that when when you have a team that's going to put it into the right behind the center, right off the guard, like 40, 50 times a game, you know, you can throw those pop passes. You can throw those passes in the flat. There's that handoff. Because you can't, you cannot spread out against this this Culver football team. Because right. they, they know where they want to go. It's in the A and the B gap, and they're going to punch it down your throat. And the second, the second they feel like you guys are just a little too close, they're going to throw a swing pass out there. They're going to throw that pop pass. And when you got guys like Schumer out there, it you. It's not usually one comet bringing them down. No. So you, you just, like you said, you can't open up that D-line. I was wondering when the officials were going to blow that dead. Hard running there by Schumann. Laying down the chains in a first and goal situation. We should have, I bet somebody knows up here. How many carries he's gotten? He's got to be getting close to 15, 20. Timeout by Coach O'Rourke on the field. Well, and with the comments taking a timeout, we'll do the same. You're watching Cast of Comments Football here on RTC. Back, ladies and gentlemen. Cavaliers first and goal, four to go. Give down to Schumann again, who scores for the Cavs. And with that, Cavaliers answering the Comets' first quarter score with half of the quarter remaining. Culver, the Culver's really playing the football they want to play. Uh, as we stressed, and the people at home are probably getting kind of annoyed. They are going to put it in the A gap 192 times tonight. Well, uh, that falls into the category of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, and I, it, I it, think that the excellent play right here is a two-point conversion attempt into the hands of Schumer. Or Schumann. And that's exactly where it goes. And they say he got across as an 8-6 to six Culver Cavalier lead over the Comets with 6.15 left here in the half. That's plenty of times for the Comets to go on their slow place drive back down the sideline. And try to punch one in here before half. Well, while they break to talk strategy, we'll be back to watch that after these words from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comets Football here on RTC TV4. Comets heading out to receive the kickoff. If you're just joining us here in the last five minutes, it has been a lot of smash mouth football so far. A lot of breaking tackles, uh, going real slow, three four, three, four yards of play. Yeah, we've talked about it so many times before. And just like life, <clears throat> it's not the most exciting thing to see, but boy, is it successful. You just keep consistently chipping away at your goal, and you're going to make that end zone. And at the end of the day, if, if you win the ball game because of what you're doing, if you beat them by 100, that, that win column is still going to have a W. If you beat them by one, the win column is still going to have a W. If it's the most gorgeous football game ever, reverse to Grant Hickel on the kickoff, who makes two men miss after getting tripped up about their own 21-yard line. That was a very athletic return there. Uh, salvaged kind of a uh, bumbled catch and... Um, once again, this senior class is just so athletic. 
Yeah, ideally you want to get the ball in the hand of Grant Hickle a little earlier there. The, the muff return to initiate everything kind of slows it down, but still good play by the Comets to get it out of their, out of their own five-yard line where it was caught. Land Schaefer in at quarterback for the Comets. Pitch outside to Sam Smith, who has the edge. Throws one man off of him. Wrapped up two yards past the line of scrimmage. That was a lot of running for two yards. Which is always the that's always the gamble when you try to take an edge. Is you you've got to cover a lot of field to get there. Yeah, running running uh east west is not what you we're looking to get north south. Get upfield, make a play. The Cavaliers as well as the Comets on defense are really loading that box up. They're in the Comets to try to get outside or try to throw the ball over the top. Routerbush gets the handoff, picks up about three yards before being thrown back down around the line of scrimmage. Comets now third and three. Football about the 31 yard line. Schaefer under center, brings a man in motion. Quarterback keeper by Schaefer, good read by Landon. Picks up a huge chunk play. You know, they just bit real hard on Sam Smith getting that dive, and Landon Schaefer just wanted to remind them that he's pretty athletic too outside. Good, really good and mature decision there by the junior quarterback Schaefer. Gain of a few on that. Four minutes left here in the half for the Comets as they're moving right along. Schaefer tries to get outside, wrapped up about behind the line of scrimmage, I believe, as they're going to go to third and eight. Good read there by the Cavs O-line, or D-line, wrong line. It's all right, Blair, it's just words. Yeah, you know, words don't have any meaning. They, they mean what you want them to mean. Dive to Sam Smith. Picks up about a yard before being tripped up. Comets are now looking at about a fourth and four. Football just over the midfield line. Grant Yaden bringing the play in. Two minutes and 45 seconds left here in the half. Lining up to go for it. Schaefer under center. Sam Smith behind him. Sends a man in motion. False start. No, oh, timeout. Timeout, Colbert. Well, we are going to take just a moment here and step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Castle Comets football here on RTC. Uh, the Culver Cavaliers having picking up the advantage on their last possession, uh, managing to tie up the game and then punching it in for the two-point conversion. Uh, Comet's on a pretty decent run right now. However, in a fourth and five situation with the football just over the 50-yard line. Throw out into the flat, Sam Smith gets the first down and some more. 
Good play design and play call there by the Comets. Very good execution by Landon Schaefer to get it out there by Sam Smith. And when in doubt, put the ball in your best player's hands and let him make a play. Absolutely. And got to give props to the uh, Cavs defense there. Uh, Sam was building up that head of steam. And we've seen how effective he is as breaking tackles here tonight. So they just hit him and put him out of bounds. Ball just past the 35 yard line. Brings the man in motion. Botched play, but Sam Smith still manages to get back to the line of scrimmage. That is very one beneficial thing to both these teams handed it off a yard deep is if something gets blown up, you're you're losing a yard. You're right. not losing five if you're in the shotgun. It's Yeah. Yeah. Approaching the two minute mark here in the half. Comments break the huddle. And have a third and ten on their own. 34-yard line. Schaefer brings the man in motion, gives it to the man in motion, who is Grant Hickle, makes the man miss, gets down to about his own 30. Third and about five or six right now. Uh, as the half winds down, I do want to let everybody know that tonight, once again, is homecoming here at the Comet Crater. Uh, so we will be leaving the camera on with a live microphone to uh, pick up the field broadcast uh, Hunter and I will not be commentating the homecoming court that feels like a good way to get in trouble <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm versatile but <laughs> we'll stick to commentating football Schaefer brings a man in motion dive on the reverse to Rada Bush who makes a couple men miss gets down to about his own 19 yard line for being wrapped up by number five Tucker Fisher for the Cavaliers the Comets are doing a really good job of getting into that misdirection football, faking a handoff or two. And, and the Comets have, I mean, we talk a lot about Sam Smith, obviously, but, I mean, there's been several guys who have gotten big yardage here tonight. Uh, we've had Grant Hickel. We've had Kyle Routabush with a couple of big plays. Uh, we've had Grant Yaden make a couple of good plays. It's just uh, there's, there's enough utility on this Comets football team to just let it not be obvious. Oh, oh! Almost a fantastic lateral on that. Comets call timeout with 33 seconds left here in the half. Ball is about backed up now to their own 22-yard line. See, even now on a speed option, we're, we're initiating that speed option a yard or two deep. So on a botch flip out, we still get the ball just on a play that theoretically we should have been back deep. But, you know, we face a second and 12 on an offense that, besides that last play, is clicking. Um, well, the only the only thing that went sideways on that play is that Routabush got his feet. Like, his cleats just tripped him up. Yeah. So he, he, he got his head in front of his ankles, and then it was gravity took over from there. You know, with 30 seconds left in the half, you're down by two. You're almost into your own red zone again. I think you put you put the ball in the hands of your quarterback. Let him try to make a few throws, get him in the end zone. And, you know, if you get down there inside the five and there's ten seconds left, you know, when in doubt, give it to five, you know. It is a gorgeous night here at the Crater for those of you that are unable to join us. Yeah, fantastically mild weather. Uh, peaked up about 80 degrees today, and now I'd say it's just calmed down right into the uh, upper 60s, low 70s. Great night for football. Great night for watching football. Schaefer brings man in motion. Rolls out to throw. Has a couple men there. Picked off. Uh-oh. Uh, it's pushed out of bounds by Kane Shane Lobb, number 22. Oliver Morgan gets underneath the Schaefer ball there. Well, that's not what the Comets wanted to see happen here. The Comets got to get a half without giving up any more points here. As they do receive the ball to start the second half, the Comets.
Just under 25 seconds to play. Oh, wrapped up and brought down by Rowderbush on a busted play. Uh, put into the hands of number one, Jason Cato. And uh, quick little burst of explosion there. And now the Cavaliers will call a timeout. So we're going to take this opportunity to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Cast of Comets Football here on RTC TV4. Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 18.7 seconds remain in the half. Comets defense looking to shut down this Cavs offense, keep them from going any further than two in debt. You know, with, with 18 seconds left here and a Culver offense that's pretty pretty time consuming, look for them to kind of switch it up, get the ball into the flats, into some of their quicker guys, see if they can make a play or two. Well, that play to Cato last play was just fantastic because Comets weren't looking for it. Wrapped up and brought down by 64, Garrison Hickle. Good read by Hickle. Uh, limited that play to about three yards. And the Cavs will call another timeout here. So we'll be back here in just a few moments. You're watching Cast and Comets Football here on RTC TV4. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just under three seconds to play. Cavs are obviously hoping for a big play. I mean, why else, why else use that timeout and stop the clock there? Two point nine seconds left here for the Cavs. They all lock in their chin straps. I don't think they're gonna kneel it. They come out in this modified wishbone. Tucker oh. Fisher drops back the pass, has a man, and, and just gets wrapped up by Grant Hickel and thrown down. Great the turf. stop, great stop. So at the end of two, Cavaliers eight. Comment six. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We will have homecoming coverage here on RTC TV4.
Adam is the son of Aaron and Christy Rush of the Fulton area. Adam is a member of the baseball team and is the volleyball manager. He is also active in NHS, Bethlehem Helping Hands 4-H Club, and 4-H Junior Leaders. After graduation, Adam began working in the HVAC business. Ms. Elaine Taylor and Mr. Adam Rush. Man of motion keeps it off the left tackle, gets down about his own 46 yard line, 46, 47 yard line. And I'll just apologize again for the, uh, the technical difficulties and uh, the potentially blown speakers. Um, yeah, technology is great when it works. And that's uh, that's my story as an IT guy, and I'm going to stick to it. Thomas faces second and four to go. Schaefer brings a man in motion. Keeper again. Down about a yard or two short. Breaking huddle. Third and one. Schaefer quarterback Sanchez behind him. Grant Hickle and Evan Howard in the back backfield as well. Brings the man in motion. Dive to Sam Smith. He gets the first down for the Comets. And it's like you keep saying. Sometimes you just got to put it in the hands of number five and let him make his play. Absolutely. You have... You have the greatest safety net you could want right now in, in number five, Sam Smith. The, off the offense is best when Sam Smith is going and everything else is going with him. But in some situations, you have to fall back on, you know, old faithful, I guess you could say. 
Howard in motion, dive down to Sam Smith, who makes one man miss, makes another one miss. And he'll move those chains again. Eventually tripped up and falls down about the 34 uh, yard line. Thomas break the huddle, first and ten, moving the ball just about as well as you could want right about now. You've got to credit the offensive line right now on on really resetting the line of scrimmage their way now. Radebush wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. Rough loss there. Thomas faces second and 13. Smith outside looks to throw it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Thanks. Sam saw a guy coming at him and just decided to get rid of it. Thomas a little confused on who was supposed to, who was supposed to go where. All the way. Good punt. Down at the one yard line. Good punt there by Schaefer. Down by Garrison Hickel. Eight Credit. minutes left here in the third quarter. Credit uh, Garrison Hickel there as well for a pretty good snap. Cavaliers line up in their own end zone.
dive back up the middle. Wrapped up about their own four yard line. Comments really digging their heels in, not letting them, not letting them budge at the moment. Fisher under center for the Cavaliers. Gives a fake cadence trying to get the Comets to jump off sides. Comets got to be disciplined and make sure they do not jump off sides. Look, pop pass. Pass completed. That'll be a first down. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the uh, technical difficulties. I think we have it sorted out now. And the problem was is that we muted our headsets during the uh, during the homecoming. We should have just commentated it. Yep. <laughs> no. I think we could have had some co-commentators for that, brought in some. Dive back down to Schumann, who's wrapped up, taken down by number 40, Caden Webb. We could have... Hired some some experts. Uh, could have brought former Castle alumni uh, Brady Hartman back in to do that. I feel <laughs> like he'd be very versatile in that. <laughs> oh, that might have been our last broadcast. We would have had to switch to a rated R uh, yeah, halftime show. We we definitely we definitely would have had to uh, put a parental advisory on the broadcast. All right. Enough of that. It was a snap. Dive down to Schumann. Wrapped up by 65 Kane Shainlop. Taken down to the ground by number five Sam Smith. Third down and one for the Cavaliers. The ball is on their own 24 and a half yard line. Load the box, Tucker Fisher takes quarterback sneak five yards for a Cavalier first down. Just under five minutes remain here in the third quarter. And I've got to say, uh, I don't think we're going to get anywhere close to the uh, John Harrell predicted score. I don't know how they predicted anything over a combined 12 points. <laughs> they were predicting nearly as close of a ball game, but they were predicting a, a few more touchdowns per team. I was not expecting anything more than a 12 to 14 final score. <laughs> Hickle with the stop there. Second and uh, six. It's what's on the scoreboard. It's good enough for me. Ball on 34-yard line. Cavaliers are giving number 40 Schumann a break as they flag on the play. Awesome. No timeout comments. No. Oh. We have. Well, with that, we're going to step away from for a word from our sponsors. 355 remain here in the third. Cast a comment six. Culver Cavaliers eight. You're watching Comets Football live from the Comet Crater here on RTC TV4. RTC Fiber Communications knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact RTC Fiber Communications. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets with a pretty quick time out there. <clears throat> 
Second and six here for the Cavaliers here. We have three minutes and 55 seconds left here in the third quarter of a very, very slow-paced, drawn-out, grinded-out football game. Dive into the A-gap. Makes a man miss. That is number one, That's, uh, Jason Caldi. Uh, that was uh, the individual who had that surprise carry before the half and uh, really set up a, a huge gain of yards because uh, the Comets weren't looking for him. <coughs> the Cavaliers, Schumann, who's had 29 carries tonight, has not came back in since that first down uh, hit he took. There's Cattle Cato. gets outside, push out of bounds about his own, about his own 43-yard line. Definitely enough to move those chains. Big plays there. Cadel, a uh, 5'8 junior. 5'8", 155. No wonder he's quick. <coughs> Reverse down to number 10. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage by number 64, Garrison Hickel. Big play there by Hickel. Good read. Tonight's homecoming king, if you guys could not see that. Congratulations to Garrison Hickel and Brianna Yarber, tonight's homecoming king and queen. Imagine that put just a little bit of extra pep in Garrison's step. Maybe a little bit. Cavaliers line back up facing a second and 13. Give back up the middle to Cato. Wrapped up and brought down by number seven, Grant Hickel. Cato there able to move them to about a third and seven situation. Coming up on the two-minute warning here in the third quarter. There's that pop pass again to Anderson, wrapped up and brought down by a host of Comets. Wasn't sure if the uh, refs were going to quite give that to him or not because he made that completion right on the line of scrimmage before he was stopped by the comments. Or not the line of scrimmage, right on the goal line. Goal to go. Oh, my goodness. Yep. The goal first down marker. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's It's been one of those weeks today. 130 left here in the third. I can read that number. Dive back down to Ortiz who makes a couple guys miss and – Gets up to the third level of the Comets defense. Big carry. Routabush with that stop, but not before the Cavs get the ball into the red zone. Number 40, Schumann jogs back on for the first time in a couple plays. Cato and Schumann both lined up there behind Fisher. Dive back to Schumann. Gets off tackle, picks up a few yards for being wrapped up by number five, Sam Smith. Under a minute left here in the third. Second and five. Line of scrimmage around the 19, no, 15. Big thanks for Sam, to Sam Duvall for uh, getting a good shot of the yard mar or the down marker. Brought 
brought down about the seven yard line it appears. That'll be enough for a Cavalier first down. First and goal. As the third quarter runs out, we have a Culver Cavalier lead, eight to six over the Comets here. Scoreless third quarter here at the Crater. We'll be back for fourth quarter action after these words from our sponsors. You're watching Cast Comets Football here on RTC.
All right. Hey, we've got audio again. This, uh, every now and again, I just really don't like technology, Hunter. And I work in IT. Here's your kickoff. Good catch. Caught by number 21, Grant Yaden. Makes a man miss, makes one more miss. Gets brought down after a good run back at his own 46-yard line. That was a smart time to go ahead and take the turf, facing down three huge defenders. Put the football on the ground and live to fight another day. Good hard running there. Thomas break the huddle. First and 10, 47. Needing a score here. Schaefer under center. Sam Smith behind him. Brings the man in motion. Keeper around the right tackle. Brought down by number 72. Yeah, that defensive line completely read that play. Gain of about a yard. The Comets need a score here as it's a two-score game. Cavaliers lead by 10. Second and nine. Schaefer under center. Brings Hickle in motion. Dive to Smith. Reverse to Routabush. Routabush found a hole. Broke a couple tackles. Wrapped up right around the uh, chain. We'll see if they move. And that was enough for a cast of Comets first down. Schaefer under center. Dive Sam Smith who gets <laughs> nine, ten yards carrying three three individuals throughout that process. How? What he was stopped at the line of scrimmage, and the next thing I know, he's ten yards away. How? So ever since I at a young age when you're a you're a back, they teach us to like never stop never stop moving your legs. So like when you're wrapped up, as long as your feet are chopping, like you always create that possibility of you breaking the tackle. And when you do, you're not just going to fall over. This way you have forward momentum. And when you have guys powerful as Stan Smith who does not stop his feet on first, second, or third contact, he, he does that quite often. Brings the man in motion. Dive back down to Sam Smith. Smith wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of about two. Now, I thought you were going to say that, you know, from a young age, uh, Sam Smith won the genetic lottery. <laughs> Sam Smith is... Uh, the easiest way to describe it is a horse. <laughs> he's a guy. He's the guy you can consistently go to, and he's going to give you his best effort every single play. Well, and he, he's he's smart, and so you put that combination together. Absolutely, that, that's he, that's why you keep you hear his name all football season, and then when you tune in during basketball season, you're going to hear Sam Smith's name, and then. You, you come out and you watch Comets baseball and Sam Smith. I ah, just fumb the Comets fumble the ball. Cavaliers are betting the house that they got it. Judging by the chain motion, I'm going to say they're right. That's, uh, that's the opposite of what the Comets needed to happen on that possession. Nine minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Look for Culver to <laughs> go into the A-gap and get the play clock down to one or two before they snap the ball the rest of this game if they have any choice, which at the moment they, they have all the choice. The Comets D-line needs needs to not allow anything in the A and the B gap. Force them to get outside. Put them in tough third and fourth down positions where they got to throw it. Uh, what this Comets defense needs to do right now is force a fumble and a turnover. 
well, regain the ball back about where they lost it. <clears throat> Frustrating turn of events, to say the least. Eight minutes, 50 seconds left here in the fourth. Look for, I mean, Culver to, Culver to break the huddle with, you know, seven, eight seconds left on the play clock. Snap the ball with one, two. Absolutely. At this point, it's just in their advantage to eat the clock. Wrapped up by Sam Smith, taken down by number 72, Pete Duvall. Third and six for the Cavaliers. Real gut check here for the Comets. See if they can force a fourth down. Possibly make it a less manageable fourth down. Back them up if at all. There's snap. Give to number 30. Blake Thompson gets the first down for the Cavaliers. Seven forty-five left here in the fourth. Cavs playing it just the way you recommended. Just keep running that game clock and that play clock down. Not quite enough room to get cocky and risk, you know, uh, delay a game call, but definitely more than enough room to just run that clock. Gain of a yard or two. Wrapped up by Sam Smith, taken to taken to the ground by 72 Pete Duvall. Seven minutes remaining in the ball game. Cavs back to the line of scrimmage. Give to number 30, I believe, Mr. Blake Thompson off the left side. Cavaliers face so a third and three. Third and three. Fish under center for the Cavs. Quarterback keeper. Tries to get it himself. Stopped short initially. We're going to face a fourth and about a half a yard here. That O-line was trying hard to push him on through. This is probably the biggest gut check the comments have had all season. You, I mean, with an uh, offensive line that's moving the center and guards the way they are, you almost have to stack the box and take the risk of them getting it outside. But with Tucker Fisher picking up two yards that last time, he ran a quarterback sneak earlier for like nine. I, I would be pretty shocked if Coach Zinner does, doesn't go right back to Tucky. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. I think they're going to call that short. I believe it's short, and it should mm -hmm. be Comet football. Looks short from up here. Sam Smith flew in there to make the play. I think they're going to – they might run the – no, they're – they're going to measure. Up 
boy, howdy, I don't think they got it. I. Oh. This Comet's home crowd is not happy about that. And you bring the chains out, though. The. I won't be that guy. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, there was probably only an inch to the point of that football across. <laughs> Cavs offense is going to keep eating about 30 seconds off of there. Dive back down to Thompson. Gets about a yard. <laughs> Fumbled and regained by Thompson. Second and nine. Ball on about the 44 or 43 yard line. Under four minutes to play. Dive back to Schumann, gets about a, mm, three or four yards on that carry, gets him to the third and four, third and five. And Culver's just getting that play clock down to one. Yeah, absolutely. Breaking the huddle at eight. Walking to the line. They're in no hurry. They're in control. Yeah, if you can if you can chip away half a minute every every huddle. <laughs> Starting to hear the home crowd get a little upset about it, but are well, we gonna get a timeout? Cavaliers calling a timeout. We're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors, and hopefully we don't have any audio issues on the way back. <laughs> You're watching Cast of Comets football here on RTC. Welcome back, four. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what? what? Got the whistles being blown like crazy. I'm not sure what's going on down there. I'm uh, just trying to get trying to get the teams out of timeout. They're both dragging it out. Uh, Pioneer Knox just went to halftime. Pioneer with an 18-0 lead. Rochester has came back to trail Northwood 21, or to tie it up 21-21. See if I can get a quick quick ones before we call the next play. I was uh, I was a little confused. It's like, why are you gonna let the play clock run when the game clock's not running? <laughs> that doesn't do you any good. Dive back down to Schumann, who gets just short of the first down. It'll be another fourth and two. Timeout, Comets, with two minutes and 57, 50 seconds left. Do you have a few more score updates there? Yeah, Tippecanoe Valley is up 22-0. The first quarter just ended there. Uh, that Valley squad is very, very talented. They uh, they do just about whatever they want on the football field. Yeah, they've been having a crazy year, crazy couple years. Uh, yeah, they led they led 60 to zero at halftime the other night. I believe the first quarter score was 56 to zero. The uh, varsity had a quick evening as they were pulled shortly after that. <laughs> wow. Well, and if even the JV squad can hold the opponent scoreless and, and stack points on the board, wow. Yeah, just a lot of emotion, I'm sure, being played with from that Valley team as they, as they uh, lost the young, the young man. He was a football player and they also recently lost uh, a very great man and Coach uh, Shriver over there. He, I mean, he's he impacted so many kids. Like I didn't even play at Valley; he had a huge impact on me. That just he was one of those guys. He, we lost him not too long ago, and so I'm sure they play with a ton of emotion. Yeah, and they got they got some they got some guys more or less.
give to Schumann, who gets the first down and some more after that. Big movement in the chains there by Schumann. Not quite to the red zone. 2.45 left to play. Cavs just bleeding this clock. Approaching the two minute mark. D give back to Schumann who's wrapped up, brought down by number five Sam, no correction, my fault. Number four, Landon Schaefer. Just two minutes remain here in the ball game. I wouldn't be shocked if Culver doesn't score if they just <laughs> let the clock run out. Approaching now the minute 30 mark. 10 seconds left on the play clock. That will not see a snap of the ball until one. Just really good game game management by Coach Zinner on the Culver sideline. Very, very smart individual. I stand corrected. Oh, whew. wow. Brought down at like half yard line. Trip by, or uh, tackled by shoelaces by Kyle Routabush. Minute 26 left remains here in the fourth quarter. Cavaliers lead 16 to six. Oh, I was mistaken. He's got a whole six yards to go. Nah, there's only three yards to go. What, what? When you're not the crazy one, but you're usually the crazy one, it makes your life hard. Touchdown, Cavaliers. Schumann gets in for his. I don't know. Try to the, na the nail in the coffin, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cavs have actually now dri uh, run their score up to about what the prediction was. Thomas just uh, unable to answer after that initial score. Off short by the comments, D line. Well, with under a minute to play, casting or yeah, casting comments six, Culver Cavaliers twenty two. We're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors uh, while we prepare for what. And welcome back, up. ladies and gentlemen. Teams getting ready for uh, Cavs to kick off to the comments. Uh, Cavaliers just really eating the lion's share of the fourth quarter with that last drive uh, just using every bit of the play clock every uh, every play I mean it's uh, great ball game management yeah not the most interesting thing to watch won't lie I mean three turnovers not ideally gonna win you a ball game. Uh, lack of execution, big part of it. Kickoff picked up by seven, Grant Hickle. Finds a hole, makes a couple guys miss, gets down to his own 45-yard line with 53.5 seconds left here in the game. Flag on the play. Officials conferring.
I Oops. will say, I kind of saw that one coming. They were getting pretty rowdy, pretty. Yeah, that tackle was a, a little. That that all happened a, a lot harder than it needed to, especially, especially when you have uh, a 16-point advantage in the game. Pitch outside of Sam Smith. Trying to grab an edge. And yeah, knocked out of bounds down at about the 30 yard line. Caston, though, still with a lot of fight. They've moved the ball really well so far. 46 and a half seconds left to play. And maybe it's not that it's such fast football as it's not what the Cavs were doing with their last drive. Hook and ladder back to Sam Smith, He's got who gets down inside his own 10. Inside his own 5, I believe. Incredible play there by the Comets. I don't think there was a year I played West Central in football that that play did not get ran. And my junior year, they decided that we needed to just add it to our playbook, and that's exactly where that comes from. Well, it worked really well. You probably don't get to run that more than once in a game, but... West Central tries to run in 100, I promise. Schaefer brings man in motion. Pitch to Sam Smith. Smith. Wrapped up just past the line of scrimmage. 30 seconds left. Official stop the clock at 29.2. Next week, the Comets travel to Winnemac to play the current uh, conference leader in the Warriors. Winnemac having a big football year. Knocking off uh, a Pioneer team that has never lost in lost a Hoosier North Athletic Conference football game uh, earlier this season, and they've just continued to do their own thing. They have a pretty talented quarterback in Russell Compton. Um, it, it should be a very well very well played game from their quarterback. As he, like I was saying earlier, he's talented. Well, in the uh, Cast and Comets cross-country crew, uh, 6 through 12, will be heading to Winnemac Town Park tomorrow to run uh, the conference meet. And, uh, you know, if we're going to sing some praises for Winnemac, and there's a good chance that their ladies are going to come away with the conference title tomorrow. This is a young lady's name, Kate Collins, I believe. Mm -hmm. Reverse to Rada Bush who finds the end zone. And that'll be a Cast of Comets touchdown. That was, you know, I just, I, I have to say well done Comets for keeping your head in the game. Uh, there, there's players out there that would have looked at that less than a minute left and would have said, well, let's just, Let's run down the play clock a couple times and just get it over with. And that was all heart. Uh, only about 20, 25 seconds gone off the game clock. Um, I look for the comments to try to recover an onside kick. Here's where the shot. Sam Smith punches it in 4-2. And that makes it 14-22. I look for them to try to recover an onside kick and attempt to tie it up. Now, whether they'll be successful in that endeavor is uh, it, it remains to be seen. But because uh, the fact of the matter is, if you if Culver gets the ball, we saw in their last drive what they're going to do. 
Absolutely. I, I they, mean, they will run one play. Yeah, and and why not? Theoretically, theoretically, with this much time left, you take a knee. Yeah. You just get out of the game. They could have took a knee last possession, but... The, but but the comments, again, if they can recover an onside kick and can score as quickly as they just did. 100%. So, so that's what I look for to happen. Because, again, and, and once again, gets into the hands of the of the Cavaliers receiving team and the game's over. Unless, yeah, I guess they run that one play and possibly the Comets can force a fumble, but then they're only going to have a couple of seconds to do anything with it. So, And I'm sure this is, that's exactly what the Cavs actually, look how they're lining up. That's, that's exactly what they're expecting too. I understand our our kicker is not <laughs> going to go Division One for kicking, but crazy thing, if you can kick it to about where that 35-yard line marker is, never mind, they're backing up now. <laughs> Collins got to fly. On the side. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will be a Culver Cavalier win, fourteen to twenty-two over the Comets. Uh, barring an incredible miracle here, uh, it's it's not technically over until the horn sounds. Uh, true. Uh, however. Well, with the clock stopped, I guess. And that, that will be the ball game. Well, that was a great final drive by the Comets. Valiant attempt for that uh, onside kick recovery just did not work out in their favor. And so, unfortunately, uh, going to lose in their homecoming game. Uh, however, once again, congratulations to Garrison Hickel and uh, Brianna Yarber uh, for winning Homecoming King and Queen. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us tonight. Uh,